welcome back students to one more session right so today we will learn, learn the differences between totemism and resonance so we have already seen the resonance concept we have seen the totemism concept where there is a dynamic equilibrium existing between keto uh, and keto form and enol form right so now today we will be seeing the differences so whenever you are writing a differences concept first remember you should write the criteria on the left hand side so you on what criteria we are going to differentiate like this right so i have picked up these criteria and start discussing so when we speak about totemism change of position so in totemism we have seen what happens an atom changes place but in resonance it involves what change of position of pi electrons correct right so let us write in totemism an atom changes place correct because from you know keto form double bond o it will become oh in all form but here in resonance what happens it involves a change of position of pi electrons pi electrons or i can say unshade pair yes unshade electrons unshade electrons now when i say separation totemers are different compounds you know so they can be separated by suitable methods right totemers can be separated when it comes to resonance the resonating structures cannot be separated why because they are imaginary structures we are assuming okay this is this is going to shift from ortho again para then ortho and finally forming resonance hybrid so they cannot be separated cannot be separated why we like the reason because they are imaginary structures of same uh, compound separated as they are imaginary structures okay they are imaginary structures fine imaginary structures now next criteria let's see suppose functional groups we are speaking of functional groups so two to, to in, the, in totemism two totemers have different functional groups one is the keto form one is the enol form where does it two totemers have different functional group shown functional groups but in resonance what will happen in resonance whatever uh, this one is there they have same function group only one only canonical structure in that canonical structure <coughs> they have same functional group right in all canonical structures in all C A N O N canon nickel structures canonical structures of, of a resonance hybrid this is what is important of a resonance hybrid okay hope students this is clear now equilibrium so in totemers what do you say there is a dynamic equilibrium which exists dynamic equilibrium i also told you in the earlier video how does it shift which is the maximum percentage but in resonance only one compound exists resonance hybrid only one compound that is resonance hybrid exists compound exists now suppose if i speak in terms of stability in totemerism uh, what happens like basically we uh, the concept of uh, we say dynamic equilibrium isn't it right so in resonance in a molecule what happens it lowers the energy and it stabilizes the compound but no such effect is seen in totemerism right what are we saying in resonance or uh, when molecule shows resonance what will happen it resonance lowers energy so when the energy is lowered what will happen stability of the compound stability of the compound the resonance lowers uh, the com uh, resonance lowers energy so what will happen stability of the compound increases when the stability of the compound increases what will happen the reactivity decreases okay now no such effect is observed isn't it it is only transfer and one is the keto form one is the enol form so no effect or no such effect 
is observed. Well done, students. Yes. Now let us see last criteria. So occurrence. So resonance occurs. Where does it occur? Resonance occurs in planar molecules. Correct. In planar molecules. But what happens? But atoms of protomers, they may remain in different planes as well. Correct. Atoms of totemus may remain in different planes in different planes okay. last one so representation how do i represent totemus totemus are indicated by double arrow indicated by double arrow That means they are indicated by like this. We need two isomers. But when it comes to resonance, it is indicated by indicated by single or or you say double headed single arrow. Double headed single arrow. Here it is double arrow, here it is double headed single arrow that is this one. But here it is between two isomers, here it is between the canalytical or resonating structures. Okay, so double is arrow between two isomers, double sided arrow between. canonical structures right so these are the differences students so thank you for watching i'll meet you again in the next video very important reaction intermediates thank you